now by definition, E is defined like this uh, by definition e to the power x, or first let me define e. e is a number, so e to the power 1, or e is defined as 1 plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial and so on. So from this, can I write e is equal to 2 plus this 1 plus this is 2, 2 plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial and so on. So this implies e minus 2, I'm going to use this later on, e minus 2 is equal to 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus so e minus 2 can be written like this. Okay, now if you write e as a function, so e to the power x is basically the same thing. It's 1 plus in place of 1. You, this is 1 is 1. This is 1 is 1 squared. So e to the power x is defined like this. 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial and so on. This goes up to infinity. So this e is a trans or exponential function. Okay, so what can we do? Now this, can we say e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus uh, x cubed over 3 factorial plus, so now you can write e to the power x is equal to 1 plus x plus, now from this let me write one more term here, x to the power 4 over 4 factorial plus, so if you factor out x squared from here, I can write 1 over 2 factorial plus x over 3 factorial. I factored out x squared, so I have x squared over 4 factorial plus, okay, now what can we do? So e to the power x is equal to, uh, okay, now before that, now I'm, I want to write this as a term of e. So in place of x and x squared, I'm going to write 1. So if you write 1 in place of x and x squared, this equality will change it to an inequality. Uh, so e to the power x is less than equal to 1 plus x plus x squared times 1 over 2 factorial instead of x over 3 factorial, I'm writing 1 over 3 factorial. Plus, instead of x squared, I'm going to write 1 over 4 factorial. So this is a very cunning step, which is difficult to understand. So from this inequality, so from this equality, I've changed this into an inequality. Now, this is what I was talking about. This, what is this? This is e minus 2. In place of this whole bracket, I can write, this is e minus 2. Okay, so calculus is one of the most uh, subtle and cunning subjects. So e to the power x is less than 1 plus x plus x squared times e minus 2. So I want to take away 1 from both sides. So e to the power x minus 1 is less than equal to x plus x squared times e minus 2. So I'm going to divide both sides by x. So you can say e to the power x minus 1 over x is less than equal to 1 plus x times e minus 2. 
say let me call this a result one so you can pause this video and think about these steps this is the the basic step is this step okay this is a coming step okay now what can we do okay so let me write this definition again i want this definition so let me uh okay so e to the power x let me write it again is equal to one plus x over one factorial plus x squared over two factorial plus x cube over three factorial plus x to the power four over four factorial this is the definition of the exponential function e to the power x now what if I don't want to write this whole thing if I don't write the whole thing what will happen I want to I don't want to write this whole thing so well you can write but then you have to change the equality to an inequality so e to the power x is going to be greater than or equal to 1 plus x now where how can it be equal if x is 0 e to the power 0 is 1 and this is also going to be 1 but if it is anything greater than 0 e to the power x e to the power x is going to be greater because I'm taking on the right hand side only 1 plus x so now what can we do if we take away 1 from both sides e to the power x minus 1 is greater than or equal to x now dividing both sides by x e to the power x minus 1 over x is greater than or equal to 1 this is result 2 okay so from result 1 and 2 what can we say okay so I want to see both okay therefore from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 if you come if you want to join both this in in 1 and 2 this is a common expression so I can write e to the power x minus 1 over x is less than equal to is greater than equal to it is greater than 1 e to the power x minus not 2 sorry over x over x is greater than 1 and less than 1 plus x times e minus 2 okay now I'm going to uh, apply the limit to each of the term of the inequality so the limit when x approaches 0 of 1 is less than or equal to the limit x approaches 0 of e to the power x minus 1 over x is less than or equal to the limit when x approaches 0 of 1 plus x times e minus 2 okay now what's the limit of 1 when x approaches 0 well when x is approaching 0 1 is always going to remain 1 so well that is 1 is less than I'll write this as a limit so the limit when x approaches 0 of e to the power x minus 1 over x is less than so now let's think about this what's the limit when x is approaching 0 when x is approaching 0 this is going to become this is going to become 0 so the limit when x approaches 0 of 1 plus x times e minus 2 is going to be 1 so here the limit of this function when x approaches 0 is between 1 and 1 so you can apply the squeeze theorem therefore we can say the limit when x approaches 0 of e to the power x minus 1 over x is equal to 1 so what we are saying is this function is less than 1 and is greater than 1 and less than 1 that means it is squeezing between 1 so the limit is 1 now to understand this graphically if you graph this I'll show you on a calculator later on this function if you graph it this is a 
uh, graphical of course you can do it graphically but I wanted to do this in a rigorous manner so if you graph this this is the function if you graph it it will look like this e to the power x minus 1 over x at 0 there's going to be a hole so there's going to be a hole here so this is a hole here so the function is not defined at 0 because when x is 0 the function is going to be undefined but this is 1, this is 1, and when it is approaching 0 from both sides, from the left and the right, it is going to be 1. And that's why the limit is 1. So let me show this on a calculator. If you graph it, uh, let me delete this. Shift e to the power x. Let me put this in the bracket. Bracket e to the power x minus 1 divided by x. So let me find what's the value of y, just g sol, what's when x is approaching 0 from the left so or from the right, so let me write 0 0.1 or point. This is 0 0.1, which is 1.05. So again, if it is say 0 0.0001, it is 1.00, so it's approaching 1, okay? So let's find the limit from the left. What's uh, negative 0 0.1? It's 0 0.95, okay? What happens if it's approaching from the left negative 0 0.00001? So this is a different way of, this is a not a rigorous way of proving this. So this function, if you go, if you press F of 0, and X is 0, it's undefined. It's an error. So there's a hole there, but the limit when X is approaching 0 of this function is 1. So let's use this to prove by first principle that uh, the derivative of e to the power X is e to the power X. So, so let's say F of X is e to the power X. Okay, and I want to prove f dash x is also e to the power x. Now, this is one of the amazing uh, functions in calculus, even in maths. Okay, so by first principle, so f of x, f dash x, by first principle is the limit when h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So this is equal to, we know f, so f dash x, uh, f, f of x plus h would be e to the power x plus h minus e to the power x over h for the limit when h approaches 0. So here, I hope you can understand f of x plus h is e to the power x plus h. So that's why in place of x I put, in place of uh, x I put x plus h. So using the log rule, so this is the limit when h approaches zero of e to the power x times e to the power h minus one over h. Okay, so this is equal to, so, e to the power x, sorry, this is not the one, e to the power x. Okay, so now what can we factor out? So this is the limit when h approaches 0 of, if you factor out e to the power x, you have e to the power h minus 1 over h. So now let me apply the limit to the second part. So this is the same as writing e to the power x times the limit when h approaches 0 of this function, which is e to the power h minus 1 over h. And we have just proved that this is 1. The limit e to the power h minus 1 over h is going to be 1. So this is e to the power x times 1, which is e to the power x.